I will show you 12 customization options for your Mac in less than 4 minutes. Starting off with the dock settings, you can increase or decrease the dock size to your liking. I have minimized the size of the dock so that I can switch on the magnification setting for a satisfying animation when I hover over the dock icons. To increase screen real estate, I have switched on automatically hide and show the dock. This looks much cleaner now. If you have been a long time Linux user, then you'll like this option. You can reposition your dock to the right or left side of the screen. Hold shift and drag the dock to the right or left edge of the screen to reposition it. If you want to make the most out of your display right now, go into settings, head to display, and then change the scaling option based on your preference. Mine is set on 2560 times 1440, and it looks like I've got a much bigger screen now. If you don't like the stock wallpapers or want to change things up, then I have two websites I'd like to recommend. Basic Apple Guy offers the cleanest looking wallpapers for Mac users. Just check out some of these wallpapers. The other option is on Reddit in the or slash wallpaper subreddit. Here you can find the best looking wallpapers free of charge. If you're into live wallpapers, then check out my video on how to set up a clean MacBook. The next change is a big one. Now head to settings and into appearance. You can choose your go-to accent color, which changes the buttons, icons, checkboxes, and current menu selection. Right below, you can set your preferred text highlight color, which changes the color behind any selection of text. Just check this out. Now go to accessibility and select display. Here you can increase the cursor size. You can also choose the outline color and fill color. You can even invert the original cursor color if you really want. You can swap out all of your app icons from this to this. This will not work for apps that you have downloaded from the App Store. Only apps that you have downloaded from the internet can have their icons changed. Now you can download the icons on a website like macosicons.com. There are thousands of icons to choose from. After that, click on an app and press Command plus I. Then, drag and drop your new icon over the default icon. You can apply the very same technique to your folders in the Finder, allowing you to instantly discern the purpose of each folder without needing to read its name. If you like clocks, then you'll like Flip Clock. This is a third-party app that can be placed as a widget on your desktop, or you can save it as a screensaver. Head over to the App Store and search Flip Clock. Download the first search result. Now let's have a look at the Flip Clock in action. And there you have it. I hope you learned something new today, and please consider dropping a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments section below. I really appreciate the recent support and thanks for watching.